Hey guys, Coach Carrick here. Hope you've been enjoying the Coastal Carolina content since they have one of the hottest offenses in the game right now and everyone is dying to know more about it. The good news is that someone has already done all the work for you. The 2020 Coastal Carolina Offense Scouting Report is an in-depth study full of information that you won't find anywhere else. This two-part report from Coach Alex Kirby, you'll find nearly 500 pages of information on Coastal Carolina's offense that up until now was only available to the opponents who had to prepare for them. In part one, Coach Kirby gives you the basic overview of this scheme with 101 plays from the Coastal Carolina offense. This segment contains 101 carefully selected Coastal Carolina plays from the 2020 season and examines the nuance behind each and every one of them. In part two, you get the Coastal Carolina Advanced Scouting Report. This thing is the real deal, full of information you can't find anywhere else. Finally, Coach Kirby will be adding even more data in the coming weeks with updates full of extra information. Buy now and you'll automatically get all those updates in your inbox at no extra charge. Best of all, Coach Kirby is giving my viewers a special discount. Get 20% off your order when you go to throwdeeppublishing.com slash flexbone or use the coupon code flexbone20 at checkout. That's flexbone20 at checkout. This offer will not last, so go grab your copy of the 2020 Coastal Carolina Offense Scouting Report today. CJ Marable is the tailback, number one in white as they work out of the pistol here. They'll pull it and throw it out, looking for Javon Hiley, and the pass is in. Audrey with the uh, experience to sit in the call and make sure he heals up correctly. Peyton will signal Marable to move. Option look for Coastal Carolina. It's C.J. Marable carrying it. Gains maybe a yard on that. On either side for Fred Peyton. Looking to throw, looking out to Cameron Brown, number 11. Talked about the good offense and good defense. Coastal is second in the Sun Belt in points per game, whereas Georgia Southern's defense first in points allowed per game. So the, the proverbial something's got to give today. Right. Coastal's ready, I think, in the Sun Belt to, to make a splash. Fred Payton keeps it, gets back to the original line of scrimmage at the 35-yard line. It's Carpenter last year who played and every snap in this game against Georgia Southern because Fred Payton was out with an injury. And this is a spot where you want to watch number four, Isaiah Likely, their big tight end. And Fred Payton's looking for him. He got caught up there in the defense. Payton going the other way, throwing on the move. What a play from Fred Payton. Backs up Coastal to their own 25. Third and 15. CJ Marable moves over to Payton's left. Peyton looking downfield, pass incomplete. Javon Hiley was sliding. CJ Marable gets the call, taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss of has kind of changed over his time with Coastal. He's not just get outside and get around on the perimeter. He can go upfield now. Coming off a of play action. Peyton drops back. Nobody is on him. Wow! Sam Denmark go all the way, a 72 goal to Jordan Strong, and that gives great field position to Fred Payton and the Chanticleer offense. Throwing over the middle, picked off, right back at it. On ABC and the ESPN app. Coastal back on offense, ball comes loose. Chanticleer is able to fall on. Hey, C.J. Marable can bail Coastal Carolina out of a lot of things. He's super talented. Does a lot of things. He does a lot of things really well. That handoff much cleaner, but the Georgia Southern defense knew it was coming. Drive you off on those run plays, but Georgia Southern, Southern is doing a nice job up front. Third and 12 for the Chanticleers. Peyton in trouble, just eaten up. What a day Rashad Bird is having. Who you got in that one? Well, I got Ohio State, but I, I'm fascinated in that one to see uh, how well Nebraska can play. Quick pass for Fred Payton, and he goes to. Very dependable, this is what the coaches told us about Greg. 
Reese White gets the call this time for Coastal. Right up the middle he goes past the 40-yard line. They'll mark it at the 41. He has it again. We talked about it. Experienced. He's got a lot of starts in his, under his belt. I just think he needs to get the cobwebs off, being that this is his first start of this season. Yeah, six starts last year, missed a couple of games due to injury. Georgia Southern was one of those games he missed. And Georgia Southern's defense says hello. So that defensive line of Georgia Southern getting after it today. Third and nine. Two wide receivers stacked on either side for Fred Wright. The pocket collapsing on him. I thought he was going to try to throw it away. From Tom Brady. We'll see. It, it could happen this year. The journeyman. Fred Payton looking deep right over the middle, and he's got a wide open receiver. Guess who? Javon Hiley. Through. First and goal for the Chanticleers. CJ Marable goes and gets stuffed by Georgia Southern. Really leap off the page. Second and goal now. Peyton rolling out to his right. Receiver all covered up. Yeah, that's going to be pass interference. Huge break for Coastal. Marable lines up behind Peyton. They give it to him. Tries to shoot up the middle. Lots of traffic. Fred Peyton did have two rushing touchdowns last year. Remember, he started six games for the shots. Pulls it from Marable, throws over the top and connects to Cameron Brown in the back of the end zone. <laughs> By the way. By the way, sorry. <laughs> and that's almost half. I, that's crazy. It's fun to have the Big Ten back this weekend. Been incomplete. Fred Payton getting the start over Grayson McCall. McCall out with that shoulder injury. C.J. Marable picks up a yard. Man, it's an offense that's normally 57% on third down conversions, which is phenomenal. Payton looking for some help. Tosses it over to Javon Hiley. Give up the first down, that's tough. Keeps the drive alive for Coastal, though. Coastal at their own 35. C.J. Marable, look at the room for him to run. First down. First and 10 from their own 48. Peyton working out of the pistol. Will pull it, and he sees the pressure coming at him. Wow, didn't have much time at the beginning of his young career here. He did try to go. He threw around 10.30 this morning, but McCall not able to play today for Coastal. Fred Payton on the move, intercepted! Derek King. Back in those four games they've won this season out with a shoulder injury, so Fred Payton gets the nod, pitches out to C.J. Marable. Fred Payton, 7 of 12 for 162 yards, a couple of touchdowns today. Connects with Javon Hiley, who tries to cut back inside. He'll be taken down at the third. Any of this one. Now, first game in the Eastern Division of the Sun Belt for both of these teams. A pitch again to Marable, and he's taken down for a loss. <laughs> Running attack in the option game. Most definitely hurt today without Grayson McCall under center. Fred Payton pulls it. Plenty of time to make a decision. Targeting highly. Third and long. Spins out of the tackle. Gets the first down and falls forward over the 45 yard line. What a move. That here, if you're a Coastal fan, in the second half. A 19-yard pickup for the Chanticleers, first and 10 from their own 48. Peyton rolls right, throws back left to Marable, who catches it. That rule, so he is a redshirt freshman.
Peyton out of the pistol with Reese White behind him. Pulls it away from White and may have lost a yard on the play. Two wide receivers stacked on the near side. Peyton almost intercepted by Renard Ellis. Football, so they've taken it to heart and they've really uh, came out this season and it, and it played, played well. Peyton's pass is incomplete. Yeah, we got to speak to a defensive end, C.J. Brewer. You know, really with a, with a chance to win the Sun Belt and, and, and make a historic season for Coastal Carolina. Coastal will hand it off. Not a ton of Grayson McCall out with a shoulder injury today. It's been Fred Payton who started six games last year for the Chanticleers. Peyton in trouble, runs it out of the end zone. Falls forward for the first down. That's twice now we've seen him for the Chanticleers. First and 10 now from the 15. That's Shermari Jones on the carry. And just... This is CJ Marable. Just eaten up by Reynard. So out of this timeout, it is third and four. Fred Payton throws it behind his intended target. All right, so here goes Coastal. No scores here in the third quarter after we were knotted at 14 at halftime. Fred Payton is flushed. Really nice job. Peyton gives it up to Marable. Yeah, just no running room between the tackles today. They'll want to try to get him the ball. So we'll see here in a little bit over a quarter left if they can find him. Peyton looks his way, but tries to get it out to Sam Denmark. And likely goes in motion. Marable will shift over to Peyton's right. He's looking for him, actually looks to the further outside receiver. And it's... They pitch it back and reverse it to the other side of the field. It's time. C.J. Marable. It's been just a yard here, a yard there for Marable. He saw Justin Tomlin come in for Georgia Southern after Shai Wirtz went off in the third quarter with an injury. Here goes Fred Payton. Still keeping his eyes downfield as he picks up the first yards so far for Fred Payton. Most of that, as you said, coming here in the second half. play action. Hey, there's Isaiah Likely right through his hands. That might be the first time we've seen the ball. Peyton going to the air again on second down. There's Marable coming out of the backfield. Met by Rashad Bird, who takes him to... Peyton immediately looks over to Mr. Third Down. And catches on the season have been on third down. Marable gets his number called, looking for some room on the edge. Maybe gets forward a yard or two. The best two defensive yeah. players in the NFL. <laughs> and there's no question about it. We've seen some good defense here from Georgia Southern, especially here in the second half. Fred Payton. Almost picked off by a DB just flying in. Fakes the handoff and tosses one up to the corner. He was looking for Javon Hiley. Yeah. 
And it's a luxury to have a quarterback that can come off the bench with experience. I started six games last year. Coastal on the move. What a nice run. Gosh, the hole, a crater in the middle of the field in Shamar. This time it's Marable. Pick up a four. I was going to say. Hard to do against this Georgia Southern defense. Marable flips sides. And they pitch it to him. Nice lane to run. Gets the first down for the shot. Now. Peyton pulls it. CJ Marable all by himself. Touchdown, Shauna Clear. Gives it up to Reese White. Boom! Win their first ranked win in coastal history, and then they get their first ranking. They've responded pretty well so far. Shamari Jones, it's been his fourth quarter. And you almost wonder again if Fred Payton behind the center for the snap until about eight seconds on the play clock. So good job. They stick to the ground with Marable. Pickup of three with his brains. Love the Chanticleer. Fred Payton has been pretty solid for Coastal today, getting the start over Grayson McCall, who's out with an injury. Oh, and no room to run for CJ Marable. Yes, usually a good thing. Fred Payton tucks it and runs inside the 15 he goes. And I love the call. It's a safe call to get a first down here and just be able to take knees and end this game. Payton rolling on fourth down. Greg Latushko is there. Yeah, and so the math isn't quite there with 2.16 left, so I would imagine they will run a play here and then we will see knees. Send it up the middle and Georgia Southern ready for it. What do you think of Fred Payton today getting the start with Grayson McCall out? I thought he did exactly what you want your. We do expect to see Grayson McCall come back for this Coastal Carolina team. This is Shermari Jones thrown down at the line. Of